seed sowing to the ministry, we now have a point of sale popularly known as POS for convenient transfers. The account details is displayed on the screen. From the office of a Chief Security Officer, Omega Fire Ministries Headquarters, all members are enjoined to be security conscious at all times. Ensure that you open your car boots to be searched. Don't insult the security personnel. Bags should be kept away from the church auditorium as it shall not be allowed to enter the auditorium. All bikes and car owners should ensure they have their gate pass to avoid any form of embarrassment. Mothers should watch over their children. Know where they are. Watch Celebration TV on Freeview UK, Channel 275, covering the whole of UK and Ireland. Jolie's Photo Studio is now open for outstanding photo shots. Contact us for your birthday photos, wedding and pre-wedding photos, family photos, photo sessions and more. Visit us at Jolie's Photo Studio or call us on the following number. Our weekly activities are as follows. Mondays, I must get the prayer meeting by 6 a.m. Also, Foundation School holds by 4 p.m. Remember, the certificate is a must for every Omega child. Youth meeting holds at the first auditorium by 4.30 p.m. Tuesdays, Bible study, word encounter by 4 p.m. prompt. Wednesdays, marriage committee meeting holds by 4 p.m. Thursdays, men and women's fellowship meeting holds by 4 p.m. Fridays, prayer service known as solution service which holds by 4 p.m. Sundays, house fellowship meetings holds at our various centers by 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. You are encouraged to get a house fellowship manual. To get full messages of Apostle Johnson Suleiman and notifications of live services, Kindly subscribe to all our social media platforms on YouTube Celebration TV, on Facebook Celebration TV and Apostle Johnson Suleiman, on TikTok My Celebration TV, on Instagram My Celebration TV, on Twitter at My Celebration TV. Introducing My Time Has Come TV channel. A fresh platform that unveils the awe-inspiring wonders of God transforming every aspect of life. Ignite your faith, nurture your spirit and ignite your miracles by subscribing to My Time Has Come TV channel on your phone now. Your breakthrough awaits. You are advised to stop picking money from the other. Our daily devotional guide Rema for Living is now available on digital store. Simply log on to Amazon.com. Search for Rema for Living with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Place your order from anywhere in the world. Word ever fresh. Boost your intellectual and spiritual prowess with inspiring books written by Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman. Available in paperback on Amazon. Registration for Young Ministers Training School YMTS is ongoing. Interested persons are to see the International Church Admin for registration. All Omega Farm Ministries churches in Africa are to connect to the headquarters admission office in starting up Omega Bible Institute with immediate effect. To all Omega Farm Ministries foreign churches, this is to inform you that Omega Bible Institute is compulsory for leadership and ordination. Contact the International Headquarters for details. To all Omega Fire Ministries churches in Nigeria, all state pastors are directed to start Bible school in their respective states with immediate effect. Note that churches that are far from the state headquarters are to seek clearance from the headquarters admission office to start on their own.
There is vacancy for two male porters at the Grace Hall. Interested persons should contact the church admin immediately. Chairs in church are meant for sitting, not for sleeping purposes. You are advised to desist from using chairs for sleeping to avoid damages. There is opportunity for professional video editors at Celebration TV. Applicants should be an advanced user of Premiere Pro and any other professional video editing software. Also, volunteers and trainees can apply. All applications should be done in person to Celebration TV. Vacancy exists in a reputable microfinance bank. The positions are listed below internal auditor head of marketing head finance officer applicants are expected to meet up with the following requirements minimum of first degree in any related finance related cars minimum of three years post qualification experience possession of experience and certificate in microfinance banking will be an added advantage Interested persons are to apply in writing with their CV attached to the International Church Admin's Office. Omega Men holds one-day seminar Thursday 11th April 2024 at the First Church Auditorium theme Health Talk. The time is 4 p.m. prompt. It's going to be educating. Children between the ages of three months to two years are to stay with their mothers at the nursing mother session located inside the main auditorium, while children from ages three years to 12 years are to be at the first auditorium where their classes are located. Parents should please note that they would not be allowed to pick their children until the end of service. To be part of this wonderful work happening in our ministries by way of financial contributions and partnership, kindly contact us on the following numbers. Enjoy yourself in this atmosphere of miracles. God bless you. Hallelujah. Some persons and group of persons are doing their special Thanksgiving this morning. If you hear your name or your department name, please come out for your Thanksgiving. Immediately after that, the children will be having their own presentation. Other decoration department, Omega Teams, come now for your Thanksgiving. Other decorators, Omega Teams. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When, when Jesus, Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When 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 Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Jesus, oh, everybody, yeah. Oh, 
Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your children that have come to appreciate you. Lord, I ask in this altar of appreciation, mark the out for greatness. Bless them, honor them. Merry met, joy, and celebration we never see in their lives. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, bless their children after them. Let their tomorrow be great and great and greater. Accept them, accept their task given. Jesus' name. Children, it's your turn.
Good morning, church. My name is Favor Abu. We are here to tell you about the personality of Jesus Christ from Genesis to Revelation. Listen and remain blessed. In Genesis, Jesus Christ is a seed of a human. In Exodus, Jesus Christ is a Passover lamb. In Leviticus, Jesus Christ is a high priest. In Numbers, Jesus Christ is a pillar of fire by the day and a pillar of fire by night. In Deuteronomy, Jesus Christ is a prophet unto Moses. In Joshua, Jesus Christ is the captain of our salvation. In Judges, Jesus Christ is our judge and our lawgiver. In Ruth, Jesus Christ is our king's man redeemer. In First and Second Samuel, Jesus Christ is our true prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, Jesus Christ is our reigning king. In Ezra, Jesus Christ is the rebuilder of broken down, is of broken down walls of human life. In Numbers, Jesus Christ is, is our provider. In Esther, Jesus Christ is our Mordecai. In Job, Jesus Christ is our every living redeemer. In Psalm, Jesus Christ is our shepherd. In Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, Jesus Christ is our wisdom. Thanks. In Psalm of Solomon, Jesus Christ is our loving bridegroom. In Isaiah, Jesus Christ is our priest of peace. In Jeremiah, Jesus Christ is our righteous branch. In Lamentation, Jesus Christ is the weeping prophet. In Ezekiel, Jesus Christ is the wonderful fourth-faced man. In Daniel, Jesus Christ is the fourth man in life, fairy furnace. In Hosea, Jesus Christ is the wonderful husband, forever to the backsliders. In Joel, Jesus Christ baptized with Holy Ghost and with fire. In Amos, Jesus Christ is our body bearer. In Obia, Jesus Christ is mighty to save. In Jonah, Jesus Christ is our great foreign missionary. In Malachi, Jesus Christ is a messenger with beautiful feet. In Nehum, Jesus Christ is the avenger of God elect. In Abu Bakun, Jesus Christ is God evangelist. Crying revived the world in the midst of the field. In Zephaniah, Jesus Christ is our savior. Thank you. Good day, my parents in the Lord. My name is Uchena Wisdom. I'm here to present a song. Organetica. You, you are all fall and omega. Your goodness and mercy, they follow me up. Let's see how you come back. Who can battle with the Lord now? Not even me with that. Not Jesus. On the cross of Calvary, not follow hands because of my day. They pass our brain on a daily basis, but now the blood come out from. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You made all things beautifully and that will not make up. Collect those seeds as been not as though they were. Now they take us to wake up. 
I'm not coming here to go cap so because I'm not bobo. Say cast your prayer to pay the water. Or when I do so when I come see on the jumbo. But sometimes you don't lose God and lose God. But see us on prayer, do not do either. You show us mercy. Cause the path of just like a shining light, a shining breath on breath onto a perfect day. We are last step into prayer blessing. If God put it on, no man will see you all. What down great mountain? What the water are you you be a God day? God is marine, marine the Madrid. So God is marine, marine the Madrid. If God and the other people matter, the rest I just say gonna occupy space. Papa, we're not coming here to do anything. We are just grateful. We are grateful for amazing grace. You, you fully load me with benefits. Every day of my life, I recollect back to back to auto. I stand amazed your presence. Nothing that you can do far beyond that I think they imagine. I'm blessing God. You always come through for me. You are my righteous, you are my fortress. Without you, this life is worthless. Because of the hills and the valleys. Because of the men and the puppies. So because of the hills and the valleys. As efficiency, with you there is no emergency. I say with you there is no emergency. You forgive my sins and grant me amnesty. You, you forgive my sins and grant me amnesty. Now you, now you run out for me. You are a father and a friend. I call you my own bestie. You, you are a father and a friend. I call you my own bestie. Baba, no be like me. I call her for this platform. I go talk at my CB. This life not going to make sense. This life not going to make sense without you, honestly. Say this life not going to make sense without you, honestly. Now you the pamper. Now you the law. Now you the set compass without my set. Now you the pamper. Say now you the law. Well, football, that time they go, you know, they for you to so true. Now it's football, you are caught the water. Well, football, the merchandise, you know, they for you to so true. No need to book, but you are caught the water and you catch up. Uri Chu, I've not all they adore you. Now they bow before you. The times of all that they bow now, glory, now they talk. Because I see different passions of you, see different passions of your doings. Now for on this platform they talk like this. Not where they pamper. Not where they love. Not where they carry me. Not where they front movement for me. Not where they uncall me. Not where they say they speak on my behalf of me and they backbite me. You be everything where I get. You say out of my belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Like Naja Delta. This I know you are not the rock kitty kitty. I am the rock kata kata. I am the rock mega scouter. You are my refuge, you are my fortress. I will be my perfect shelter. Who reach you for this constituency? You are called the monarch of the universe. That's why you are not the local government chairman. Monarch of the universe, that they call you. That's why you are not the local government chairman. Because of the money claim, set us a post to stay. The message is a cast it down. We will not need to gym because they're lifting up. I know the message is a cast it down. We don't need to gym because it is lifting up. God of capital. God of hallelujah. God of wonders. My men from Israel said, call you Salobwa. Some of them look like Finnish, call you Tamno. Some say you feel like to marry. Some from the East say you be chine ke piligwe. Some they call you kukwa manoya. Oh, some men look like you say Riki Salama. Now you be say Riki Salama. My name is Sonia. What did I do when you say you love me like this? Maybe before you pass with me, I know me every day. My aim for the land not to project you, cause you deserve to be known. I don't know as little land and jamos, but you came through for us. You became my intro. You came as woman. You became the akarana druamara. This life will not really make us without you, Senior. You, you send the only because of me, come, me come and come for us. Now, Jesus, me, I can't take your place, your place, now your place. Every two a man be, now God, now me come. I say every two a man be, now God, now me come. Man, they travel goodbye, 
just to go sing for pleasure. You, there is no yet to go. You are in your own environment. Even when I fall in your hand, you still the old man. Lover of my soul, you know that break my heart. I sing about your mercy, sing about your grace. Now you they bust my brain every night. Daddy, daddy, where the pamper, daddy, where the bless. Forever you're my father. Now you they give me rest. When I look around, I see your faithfulness. I bow down on my knees, cause now you will be the end. Oh, 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 oh.
The children will be coming out for their Thanksgiving. Choir. God is good, oh. Hey, my God is good, oh. children let's pray father we speak a blessing over them we ask you will cover them you will preserve them you raise them up in your wisdom they'll be continually be examples to their families to the church of God we decree today that the Lord God Almighty will pilot your life to the destiny as ordained for you. We ask that you become a source of satisfaction and fulfillment. Now this week also has ushered another blessing on your life. We pray for the teachers with the creed that your heart desires be granted. Celebration will not cease in your life. In Jesus name. Amen. Congratulations to you on your week. God bless you. Let's give them a big, big hand clap. Give the children a big, big hand. Give them a big, 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 big hand clap. Praise the Lord. Children, please stay by. Just stay where you are, please. Daddy, thank you, sir. On behalf of the children this morning, we are here to fulfill Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 1. Children, honor your father and your mother in the Lord. This morning, with the permission of our dynamic mother, we believe she's watching us this morning, we have an award of honor for our father. 
Apostle Johnson Suleiman. You are an incredible father and role model to us. Thank you for all the selfless contribution to us making our lives count. May God keep blessing you to be a blessing to us and the world at large. This is presented to you by OFM Children Church Worldwide. Thank you, Daddy. And we have for our mommy, when we told mommy, she said, Daddy will collect my own. And a word of honor to our mommy, Dr. Mrs. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman. Thank you for modeling godly and righteous living. Our generation is blessed because of your sacrifice. May God clothe you with strength now and always. This is presented to our mommy, our dynamic mother, by the OFM Children Church Worldwide. Thank you, mommy. Come on, celebrate God, celebrate God, celebrate God, celebrate God, celebrate God. Celebrate God better. If you like good thing, do those hands better for Jesus. Hallelujah. Intimacy. Intimacy. Let's appreciate the grace of God upon the life of our father, upon the life of our mother. We are starting with those that are thanking God for adding another year to their age during the week. Pastor Mrs. Helen Abolaji, Sister Rita Napoleon, Mr. Irias Lillian, Honorable I Chief Ushoke Dane, Edele Mabe, a ye merry peace, a ye merry honor, Okolola Jumoke, Esther Sule, Bella Yeri, Esther Ibo, Mom of Wisdom, Chukuka, Chukwemeka, Pastor Mrs. Beatrice Nje, Enoma Favor, Esther Ogehi, Nwako, Afa Takwa, Ann, John Arega, Joseph Oramide, please celebrate God. There were others that received financial miracle alert during the week. Anita Momodu, Omoyebo Goodness, Deborah Loki, Fortune Goodness, Michael Eric, Anthony Chukwemeka, Olamide Nefisat, and Samuel Joshua. <laughs> Mrs. Anita Momodu is appreciating God. The oil, he said, she said, the oil Papa bless, she used it on her television that was not working for a while. And after that, the television was restored. <laughs> we have those that are thanking God for Johnny Mercy during the week. Samuel Joshua, Pius Chinedu, Zenab Alasa. Rosemary Umoru, Pastor Goodluck Lime, Moses Joseph, Esther Sule, Timothy Osuma, and Osas Emmanuel. We have new baby to the new family, the family of Mr. and Mrs. Precious Beta Pekin. God added a baby boy to the family. Mr. and Mrs. Harrison Idewa, God added a baby girl to the family. Bro, Emmanuel Salil is thanking God for preservation from deadly beasts and deliverance. Bro, Collins Oyebuchi is thanking God for the preservation of his phone. Sister Juliet Akazuogi is thanking God for successful celebration in the family. Bro, Ude Valentine Johnson is thanking God for a major breakthrough. Sister Goodnight is thanking God for successful admission into a higher institution of learning. Bro Eric Michael is thanking God for the preservation of his family member. Comfort Benson is, the, is thanking God for the preservation of life of our children. Bro Daniel 
Odaudu is thanking God for turnaround and promotion in his place of work. Bro Arega John is thanking God for preservation and quick recovery. Bro God's power claim is thanking God for empowering him to establish his own business. Bro Lucky Osoye is thanking God for successful passing out parade after the completion of his NYC program. Pastor Osaretin Ajayi is thanking God for all round blessing and turn around in his life and family. Sister Jumai Suleiman from Kaduna is thanking God for healing after Papa made declaration during wonders without number. The other that lasted for 25 years was E by the power of God. Celebrate God. Olufemi Adewale Adeoye from Germany as well. He said God restored his accommodation in Germany after he was prayed for. Pastor Fregen, OFM Frankfurt, is also thanking God. He said the strong man terrorizing the family has dropped dead after Papa declaration last Sunday. <laughs> Pastor Surprise from Liberia is thanking God for restoring the right, the sight of a man he prayed for. The ushers, protocols, and others are thanking God for safe trip to and from Cameroon for crusade. Pastor Faith Ezekiel is thanking God for safe deliverance and healing. Edda Richard Erodia is thanking God for successful completion of his daughter NYC program in Dogombe and also thanking God for preservation from scorpion attack. Bro Samuel Destiny is thanking God for total turnaround. Bro Godfrey Eromosel is thanking God for outstanding result of her daughter in school and also for healing of his father. Mr. David Deojoyo is thanking God for preserve, preservation from road traffic accident. Evangelist Uyi Uzazua is thanking God for preservation. I appreciate Jesus if you are expecting testimony in this service. Please quickly, if you have, if you hear your name, please come forward for your testimony. Mr. Bira Mobafa, Caribbean from Bayesa, please come forward. Mr. Ife Garrison from Benin, please come forward. Bro Obina Ikwebo from Anambra. Mrs. Clementina Emanuel. Bro Patron Tato from Delta. Pastor James Itoya, please come forward. Mrs. Eze Chineye, please come forward with your children. Continue to celebrate God as they come forward. Mr. Bira Mobafa. Our daddy is here this morning to appreciate God for supernatural healing from high blood pressure. He said, after retirement from police, 35 years of service, he was expecting money and money were not coming. And because of so many demands, his blood pressure shoot up. He was about dying. From 2017 to 2020, that was when he found his way to this place. He said Papa was walking around the compound. He met Papa and cried to him. And Papa laid hands on him and prayed. Caused the root of the high blood pressure. He said from that time till now, the high blood pressure become normal. He is totally free to the glory of God. He has come to return all glory to Jesus. Celebrate Jesus with a shout! Mr. Ife. Our brother is here to appreciate God of all for preservation in the family. 
war will have lead to fire disaster, but the God of our Father took control. Secondly, he said that being a strong man tormenting his life. So last year he came for a personal life in spirit just for this man to go down. He was on fasting and pray. He decided to return back to his uh, place in Benin. And when he broke his fire, he, he was told, he was given the news that, yes, yeah, this young man is already sick, about to die. But when he now decided to broke his fast, he said the young man received strength again. When he now heard of the Ebenezer 2024, the enemy submitted. He prepared himself and came. And after the program, the strong man was, went down completely. He's here to appreciate God. And after that, his way hope is here to appreciate God for turn around. Please celebrate God with a shout. Après le programme de Ebenezer 2024, l'homme fort qui tourmentait sa vie Bro. a été éliminé par la prière de la peau Johnson Suleiman. Robina. Abra is here to appreciate God. He said, God fought for him. He was wrongly accused because there was nothing to show in his life. He came from, from Anambra to this place. And from there, every Sunday we connect to prayers. He never knew his time will, some, will, will come. But I was surprised this week there was someone that favored him with an accommodation before. The person just called him. Say he didn't know the person before. The person called him and empowered him to start his own business. He said he received a huge sum of money in his phone. He has come to return all glory to Jesus for giving his life a turn around. Celebrate Jesus with a shout! Il a été délivré d'une fausse accusation et favorisé financièrement par le Dieu de la Poudjan Son Suleiman. James Otoya. I brought here as well to appreciate God for divine preservation. He traveled to Benue with a bike with two others on their way going. That was a serious accident. Then a vehicle from nowhere just came from behind to carry them off. Say, but nothing happened to him and nothing happened to the two others. Again, when they were coming back, as they were about coming, getting to a particular place, something there is to stop and just relax for a while. After that, he now started the journey again only to discover, getting to a place, he saw dead body, fresh, on the ground, along the road. Kidnapper kills some people, and some people were taken away. He has come to return all glory to Jesus for this divine preservation. Help him to celebrate Jesus with a shout. He remercies the Seigneur who has preserved and who has delivered an accident fatal and of the hand of bandits. Bro, patron, Tattoo from Delta. Tell us what God has done for you. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. My testimony goes like this. Last year, December, there is a company in our kingdom, and I love to work in that company. And I call my brother and say, this company, I love to work in this company. He said, okay, no problem. After the call, two days interval, he called me that I should bring my name and everything. Then I do as he said. Then after that, one week into I said I should send my account number to him. I send my account number to him. Then when Papa declared January this year, he said, your testimony will arrive before January will end. So I traveled down to my state and I went to the village. On February this month, 2nd of February, I went to search for network because I'm using MTN. So after I on my phone, suddenly, without no working, without no doing anything in the company, then I received a huge amount of money, 
in my account. I say, ah, what a God am I serving? Say, I say, I must come back to this great commission to come and give my testimony. Hallelujah. After submitting those applications in January, he came down here and Papa made the declaration that whatever you are looking for, this January will not pass without you receiving it. And he said, Amen. He went back only for him to receive a lot from that company in February. And not just February alone, even March, he received a lot. That is miracle a lot. Can you celebrate Jesus with a shout? Par les déclarations prophétiques de l'apôtre Johnson Suleiman, il a reçu la faveur financière. Mrs. Clementina, tell us what Jesus has done for you. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for preservation of life. On Monday morning, I traveled to Ekboma to buy some goods. On our way coming back, after the year, he get to work by the day. So the vehicle sound was not okay. So I turned to the woman by my right side. I was telling the woman, I said, this vehicle, the sound is not okay. Before I could know what was happening, the vehicle failed break. And there was a trailer, down got a trailer before us. I was just shouting, driver, what are you driving? What is this? Before you know it, it diverted to the other lane. And there was a trailer coming that was high, that down got in. And there was a vehicle, uh, J5, the front of us and the, the trailer. All like, I don't know what to say at that moment. I just heard, closed my eyes and I heard my head. I said, Jesus, mercy, mercy. I closed my eyes. Before I knew it, we were back on our lay. I don't know how God did it. We were eight in number in the vehicle. God preserve us. As we were going, the vehicle was just on speed. I was just shouting, God, I'm not qualified. God supernaturally preserve and preserve others. After the vehicle February, can you celebrate Jesus with a shout? Le Seigneur les a préservés de manière surnaturelle d'un accident fatal. Mrs. Eze Chineye, please. Come forward. This family are here full of joy to appreciate God for divine preservation. For all the children here, God have done marvelous things in their life. In particular one, the first daughter here, they said from time to time, there is this season that normally come. She will just faint. They have to carry her to the hospital. And from there, they register a case, especially. But in February, the attack on her was serious. After admitted in the hospital, they refer her to specialist hospital, Irwa. She was admitted there for like two weeks. But in one of the days, after the week, almost and some days, they brought the picture to Papa, Say, Papa, see what my daughter is passing through. And Papa pray on the picture and make declarations. After that, life was restored back to the daughter. He said, this was somebody that was gasping for breath. She was on oxygen. The oxygen was removed and she was discharged. He said, people that have similar cases in that hospital, all of them, they did not survive. She was the only one that survived. Are you just looking like that? Can you rise on your feet and celebrate Jesus with a shout? Cette famille Please connect Seigneur with your seed. You are the miracle God, oh. Yahweh. Faithful God, oh. Yahweh. Wonder-working God. Yahweh. Everlasting you are. You are the miracle God, oh. Yahweh.
let's rise to our feet with our offerings packaged unto God. Viewers all over the world connect to this service with the account details on the screen. Lift up your offerings above your head. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, thank you, and thank you for the gift of life, for your mercies upon our lives. In the name of Jesus, we have come to offer our offerings to you. Accept us and accept our offerings in the name of Jesus. May this week be a week that is filled with testimonies. May the God of wonders with that number remember us this week. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Now put your hands together for Jesus. Everybody, let's go.
Hallelujah. Come on, can you tell your neighbor, your praise will make room for you. Your praise will make room for you. You know, the Bible said in Psalm 22 verse 3, God inhabits the praises of his people. If you believe that, give the Lord a hand clap this day. offering a mighty mighty shout amen hallelujah we have six babies this morning to be dedicated please if you are believing God for fruitfulness all around fruitfulness holy seed while they are dancing out drop your seed on the offering bowl Please, if you hear your name, 
come out for your baby dedication. Pastor, um, Pastor Mrs. Faith Ezekiel, OFM Ibadan 2. Mr. and Mrs. Ezra Ewone. Mr. and Mrs. Blessing Ajayi. Mr. and Mrs. Siri Inak Bamanchi. Mr. and Mrs. Kenneth Yakubu. Mr. and Mrs. Nancy Mandela Ogurofo. Come now for your baby dedication. Come and see what God has done. Oh, in my life, your love and abundance. Hey, I buy you too much. Come and see what God has done. Oh, in my life, your love and abundance. Hey, I buy you too much. In my life, your love and abundance. Come and see what God has done. Oh, in my life, your love and abundance. Hey, I buy you too much. In my life, your love and abundance. In my life, your love and abundance. children. Father, we bless you. We thank you for baby wonder. We ask that the hand of the Lord will be upon you mightily and massively. The eyes of God will watch over you continually and perpetually. As your days be, so shall your strength be. We bless you the blessings of God and decree everything needed to raise you up is here by supply. We dedicate to the Lord in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, thank you for baby favor. We speak the counsels of God over your life. That wisdom, knowledge, and understanding will characterize your life. We decree that everything needed to raise you up is hereby supplied. As your days be, so shall your strength be. We bless you with the blessings of God, and we say this well with you. As we dedicate to the Lord in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for angel. We bless you with the blessings of God. We decree that the grace of God will rest upon you. We decree that God will give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding. You grow up in the fear and favor of God as the Lord supplies everything needed to raise you up. We dedicate to the Lord in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for baby blessed. We speak great grace over you. 
We decree the Lord God Almighty will bring blessings that will accompany your existence. You will bring good news continually to your family. As your days be, so shall your strength be. We decree all needed to raise you up is here by supply. As we dedicate you to the Lord in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for baby Jaden. We bless you with the blessings of God. We speak great grace upon you. We decree the Lord will take care of you. Everything needed to raise you up is supplied. We decree you will stand out and miss your peers. We speak the blessings of grace upon your life as we dedicate to the Lord in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for baby Elias. We bless you with the blessings of God. We decree that you fulfill purpose, you fulfill destiny. May the hand of God rest upon you continually. Your going out and coming in is blessed with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We dedicate to the Lord in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If life now money, tell me how much I get when I fuck take it by a Hallelujah. Let's receive our tithe this morning. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lift it above your heads. Father, thank you for the privilege to tithe. We decree that the devourer is rebuked perpetually. We speak the blessings of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Saruna Iyo yo kavari Iyo kavari Yesu na zuela
102, page 102. What a friend we have in Jesus. Hallelujah. Micah 7 verse 8. Rejoice not over me or my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. He says when, not if. If it had said if, that means it's conditional. It may not happen. But it says when. Because in every man's life, there is a time he may fall. Financially, there is a time your business may go down. Maritally, there will be a time of shakings. When? So it's always certain that a time will come in a man's life when he'll be at his low moment. His down times. Even the, 
the richest and wealthiest of men go broke? When? A home that's so peaceful will always have a turbulent season. When? He said, I shall rise. We are going to ask for the grace to rise again. I receive grace to rise again. I receive grace to rise again. I receive grace. I receive grace. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray, I receive grace to rise again. Open your mouth and fire prayers. I receive grace to rise again. Parakoshata, ikaparayas, we are see <laughs> In Jesus' name. Yeah. More than my mouth can testify. More than my mind can comprehend. I've seen the wonders of your grace. I'm so sure that this is not the end. Yes, I see a fire you brought me. Yes, I'm so you found me worthy. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace all my days. The power of God is here this morning. Can you lift your two hands, everybody? Oh, is it I see a fire you brought. I'm so glad you found me worthy I can see, I can tell And I know it's your grace All my days I will see your praise I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace all my days. I will sing, Jesus. I can see, I can tell. And I know it's your grace all my days. Grace, grace, grace. Grace, grace, grace. I 
Amazing grace is the sweetest sound that saved my life. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. It took my shame, it took my pain. My Jesus gave me his name. Now I reign, I reign with him. All my days I'll see his praise. Everywhere that I go, everything that of God. May that grace be made manifest in your life. May that grace bring into physical manifestation every word spoken by God concerning you. In Jesus name. Clap your hands for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You may be seated in his presence.
you read your Bible to John chapter 2, verse 1 to 11, we have quite a lengthy scripture reading, as our custom is. I'll read one verse, you read the next one. When we get to the last verse, we'll read it together. Please be very audible as you read with me. John chapter 2, from verse 1 to verse 11. I'll read one verse, you read the next. we get to 11, we read it together. And the third day, there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Verse 2. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto them, they have no wine. His mother said unto the servant, whatsoever he said unto you, do it. Jesus said unto them, fill the water pot with water, and they filled them to the brim. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servants withdrew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom. Let's read verse 11 together. This beginning of miracles did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory and his disciples believed on him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The beginning of miracles. The beginning of miracles. This is very prophetic because it's speaking to you that in your life, this season is the beginning of miracles. In your family, this is the beginning of miracles. I said, this is the beginning of miracles. This is the beginning of miracles in your life. Amen. Okay, the Bible tells us that Jesus was invited and his disciples, the mother was there, they had a wedding. They were guests in a wedding ceremony. Those who invited Jesus were not preempting a disaster. Those who invited Jesus were not expecting a disaster. They were not expecting. In fact, if there was anything they were expecting, it was a celebration. It was a wedding to say, come and rejoice and celebrate. So everybody was invited. And those days, the feast in the time of old, will run for seven days. People are celebrating, they are drinking, they are happy. So they were not preempting a disaster or a situation that would warrant shame or mockery. But yet, they invited Jesus. Jesus organically was not invited to solve a problem. He was invited to come and rejoice with the people. They didn't know there was a disaster lurking around the corner. Carry Jesus every day because you will need him urgently one day. Carry Jesus every day because you will need him urgently. Do we need God every day? Of course we need God every day. But there are emergency, emergency, urgent situation where you are desperate, you are in need of God. Don't only carry God in the days of crisis. Don't only carry God in the days of pain. Don't only carry God in days of challenges. Carry Jesus every day because you will need him urgently one day. Am I talking to somebody here? Jesus was not invited by this ones, by this couple, only because they wanted a miracle. They invited him because they liked him. God is looking for lovers, not users. God is looking for lovers, not users. We are in a generation of users. But God said, no, he wants lovers. He wants those who are glued and connected to him by reason of who he is and not what he does. 
God wants people to be glued to him by reason of who he is, not what he does. Because even if he does nothing, he doesn't change who he is. Even if he does nothing, he doesn't change who he is. Your connectivity to divinity is not on his ability, but on his love. It's not because of what he can do, but because of how much he loves you. He said, this beginning of miracles, so God is a miracle worker. If you are not aware, be aware. God is a miracle. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4. God, who has sundry times, at sundry times, bore them witness, signs and wonders, and diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost. The Bible said in Acts chapter 2 verse 22, Jesus, a man approved of God by many signs and wonders and miracles, which he did among. So signs and wonders and miracles are a seal of God's approval. When God approves you, he seal his miracles. Jesus did miracles that were obvious. If I in John chapter 4, I think verse 54, the Bible said this was the second. So every account was taken of his miracle. This again was the second miracle that Jesus did. So Jesus is in the business of doing miracles. Taking an analogy or extracting an analysis from this scripture and all that happened, we begin to see what miracles are. Miracles show that God is in control of nature. Miracle, because miracles are supernatural. Miracles shows to us that God is in control of nature. Turning water to wine. God is in control of nature. He made the heavens and the earth. The Bible says he had the world in the hollow of his palm. The Bible says he covered himself with light as with a garment. He walked upon the wings of the wind as a chariot. He stretched for the heavens as a curtain and created it as a tent to dwell in. He said, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my full store. He's a miracle worker. Miracles reveal that God is in control of nature. Am I talking? Am I communicating? Miracle shows to us that God delivers from shame. God delivers from shame. What an embarrassment. What a disaster. What a disgrace. What an emotional crisis and a pain. That these people all of a sudden were embarrassed. But miracles showed up because God delivers his own. From you cannot serve God and end up in mockery. You can't follow this God wholeheartedly, genuinely, and end up in reproach. It doesn't matter what you are going through now. If it's negative, you will end like this. The, life, see, the battle of life is a wrestling match. And God is the referee. When your enemies are on top of you, God will not blow the whistle. But whenever you are on top of them, God blows the whistle. That is the battle of life. Miracle displays the power and the glory of God. This beginning of miracle, this Jesus, and manifested forth his glory. The end product of glory is miracle. The end result of, of power is miracle. God is a miracle working God. He's a God of signs, a God of wonders, a God of miracles. Miracles. <laughs> Reveals to us that God has the final say. God has the final say. God has the final say. That man was going through cataclysm, catastrophe, and despondency. But Jesus came and put a, 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 a comma where the enemy puts a full stop. And when the comma meets a full stop, it becomes a semicolon. And when there's a semicolon, the sentence continues. So it doesn't matter the shape. Or the form of fashion your life has taken now. Jesus has the final say. Doctors gave you a report. No, but Jesus has the final say. I don't care the report of the doctor. When God speaks, every other speaker is a noisemaker. After God has spoken, every other speaker is a noisemaker. God has the final say. So you are here this morning with a, de a deadly negative. Defeatedly de medical report. There's something the doctors have told you. And they said, this is their own report. But God has another report for you. They say you cannot have a child 
who is it that says a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord commanded it not I don't care what the devil has done to you or done to your body or done to your mind or done to your finances or done to your family but I know the God that has the final say I know the God who says and no man can unsay I know that God he lives he lives and lives and lives forevermore I know that God who brought back Lazarus after four days I know that God God has The problem is that you are looking too much on what man can do. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 and 6. Let your conversation be without covetousness. He said, but we contend such as you have. For he has said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. So that I may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid of what man can do to me. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 and 6. God has the final say. We just returned from Cameroon. And while this, this, the final day of the program, I mean, a lot of things happened. You may, you may have seen that also. And while we are leaving the program and walking out of the, of the crusade, a young, they brought a dead, a dead child, carrying a dead baby. I, I was moved with compassion. Not because I have power. I don't have power. Only God has power. But let me just pray. Because the faith, they were distracting. And people now noticed there was a dead child. So walking like that without praying will almost become an embarrassment to everything that has happened. And I walked towards trying to pray for the baby and a crowd was coming towards me. And they said to me, you, they will mob you, enter the car and go. So I obeyed the, the Dr. Fidelis and co. I entered the car and I left. I left. Midnight, I got text on my phone that the baby came back to life. The mother went and dropped the baby on the altar where I administered. And they left the baby there. It's a, it's a miracle all over the place. And the baby jacked and came back. After being dead, came back to life. Why? God has the final say. It wasn't Apostle Suleiman that raised the baby. It was God who raised up the baby. Because when God speaks, every other speaker is a noisemaker. Only what God says stands forever. If your amen is louder, take the blessing. Take your seat. After three days, the Bible says, there was a wedding. If you understand the mystery of three days, in Genesis 42, 17, it was three days that Joseph kept his brothers in prison before releasing them. There's a connectivity to three days and deliverance. First Samuel chapter 9, verse 20. After three days, the asses of Saul's father that was missing was found. Jonah 117, after three days, the fish brought Jonah out of its belly, which was symbolic of the resurrection of Christ. Mark, Mark chapter 12, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 40. After three days. After three days. After three days. Your productivity is your connectivity to the spirit of the day. There are days that are blessed. There are days in which miracles have been programmed into after three days. There are days where greatness has been programmed into after three days. There are days, your, your productivity is your connectivity to the spirit of the day. That is why when David, do you know when David brought down Goliath, David killed Goliath. Do you know that day David woke up excitedly. In fact, everything you see in the book of Psalm happened in a particular day in David's life. When he fell into sin, that was when he wrote Psalm 51. Concerning all uh, uh, creating me a clean heart. That was the story between him and Bathsheba. The day that David knocked down Goliath was the day David woke up and said, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will. There is the spirit of the day. There's the spirit. There's an evil day and there is a good day. After three days, right now I deprogram every evil day and I program a good day. Take your seat. The beginning of miracles. I prophesy miracle begins for you. Miracle begins for your family. The Bible says in the wedding that was organized, both Jesus and his disciples were invited. Write this down, number one. You cannot love Jesus and not love his disciples. If you love Jesus, you will love his disciples. If you love Jesus, you will love 
his disciples. But Jesus and his disciples. If you love Jesus, you will love his disciples. That should be the, 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 the heading. Write that down. If you love Jesus, you will love his disciples. Both Jesus and his disciples. You can't claim to love Jesus and hate brethren. Jesus goes nowhere without his disciples. The proof that you love Jesus is the love you show to his disciples. The proof that you are a lover of Jesus is the love you show to a brother. For everyone who claims to love Jesus and fight a brother, you don't love Jesus. Because you cannot love Jesus and hate his disciples. But Jesus and his disciples. But Jesus and his disciples. Be saved. Being saved, don't forget this. Being saved, being born again, imposes on you a duty to love brethren unconditionally. Being born again imposes on you a duty, a compulsion. It compels you to love brethren unconditionally. Whether they hurt you, they don't hurt you. We are, we are, we are compelled. To love them. But Jesus. You cannot love Jesus. And hate his disciples. The Bible says Jesus was there. His disciples was there. And his mother was there. What keeps you. What keeps you. What keeps you well structured. In a church. Is having an understanding that a church is a family. A church is not an organization. A church is not even a movement. A church is a family. But Jesus, disciples, mother, what else? That's a family. That's a family. Having the mentality that my brother in church, my sister in church, is my family member. This thing, I don't even want us to call it Sunday service. We call it family meeting. It is family. And you know, in every family, everyone is a stakeholder. Everybody has a role to play. You can't say it's, their, it's your family. If things go bad, you are part of the family. If things are good, you are part of the family. It takes a responsibility mentality to be active in the family. Do you know in that your family, when it gets to Christmas or to New Year or anything, any youth season, even if you have a brother who is a millionaire that gives your father, your mother one million, you still carry your 5,000. Because every contribution is necessary in the family. But Jesus, the mother, the, the, this is a family. You can't sit to watch things fail. Because if it fails, it's your family that fails. It's a family. It's a family. Hating the brethren is hating Jesus. Fighting a fellow departmental member is fighting Jesus. You can't claim to love Jesus and fight your pastor. You can't claim to love Jesus and gossip a pastor. You can't claim to love Jesus and you are looking for how to set up a brother. So you can say I said so. If you love Jesus, you must love the disciples. The Jesus, you see. We are in a generation of, of nonsense. Absolute arrant nonsense. And the thing is spirituality. Nonsense. The 31,102 verses of the Bible, I've read all. So I know it more than you. I think so. Nonsense. God uses a man... To raise the dead, for example, to heal the sick. Rather than people appreciating God for his power and thanking God for such a gift. They say, now God get power, oh, now God do am. Did he come down? He didn't pass through somebody? And you think that's spirituality? That's the act of ingratitude. When God uses people, are you following what I'm talking about? When God gives you a minister of God, a brother, a sister, as a gift, who is a blessing to your life, you give God the glory for his move, but you appreciate the man he used. We 
without God, we cannot. Without us, God will not. Without God, we cannot. Without us, God will not. I sought for a man who can stand the gap. Even God is a man. I've told you the stories like a man who finished eating his wife's food. The wife served him. She kneels down. She prepares the table. She puts the food on the, on the dish. She does everything. The man finished eating and he brings out toothpick and he's picking his teeth. Mwah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Was it Jesus that cooked the food? The woman that cooked the food is there. After thanking God, you thank her. You think it's easy to have a good cook? Ask some men what they are eating at home. You think some men who go to the restaurant to eat is because they want to eat outside? Because they know what, what, what the concussion and the potty at home. You can't claim to love Jesus. In fact, the love you have for God is shown by how you treat his people. I love God, I love God, I love God, I love God. I love God, I love God, I love God, I love God. Not one gift has left you to a servant. I'm not soliciting for gifts. Thank you. I'm giving you wisdom. Not one gift have left you to your head of department. Not one contribution to that department. There are some of you. You are in different unions. Family union. Town union. Community union. And you are paying dues. You are paying dues. But when they say pay dues for church, for department, you say, is it not in Hong, in Hong Kong? Is it not in Hong Kong? Hong Kong, somebody be paying money in the Hong Kong. And people are telling you, you are going to church. You are going to church again. People are confusing your service to God. You are serving God with all the God that gave you life, that gave you strength. You are serving so much energy. And people are complaining. But yet when they are, when they are watching football, People travel, listen to, to, is it Ivory Coast? They went there. People traveled. They call you a fanatic, but they call themselves fans. You, you are fanatic, they are fans. Even many who have, who have clubs that are failing are still loyal to the clubs. People are still following Man U. People are following Man U. You don't know. See now. With all the heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreak. People are still loyal. They believe say the game go caught one day. With all the man, you is, a, is an example of many of the afflictions of the righteous. But they are still following. They are, as I'm even talking now, some are saying, Papa, leave that side, leave that side, leave that side. Leave that side, Papa, leave that side, Papa, leave that side. That's how loyal people are to clubs. But when we are going to church, what are you going to do in church? What are you going to do in church? What are you going to do in church? They call us fanatics, but they call themselves fans. Whenever I see, I see football and I see stadiums packed out, people are watching football, I say to Jesus, I will pack this for you. I will make sure people gather like this for you. I will make sure people gather like this for you. All over the world. All over the world. That's my dream. That they gather, not just gather to see gold scored, gather to see the power of God in display. You can't claim to love Jesus and hate his disciples. First Corinthians 13 verse 4. What is love? What is love? First Corinthians 13 verse 4. Bring it up. Don't waste my time. Charity. Suffer it long. That is love. Love, so, love, the proof of love is that you have capacity to bear. A sign of love that you have capacity to tolerate. True love tolerates. You don't have to like it. If you love, you bear. If you can't bear, you don't love. If you react at everything, you don't understand the concept of love. Charity suffereth long. It can bear. It can tolerate. Charity, I'm still on that scripture. Charity suffereth long. It has capacity and ability to bear. Things are happening, it bears it. A brother offends you, you forgive him in advance. A sister says something, you say, I let go. 
is that your husband does something, you let go. Your wife does something, you let go. That is love. He said, and charity is kind. So the first element of love is that love suffered long. Number two, love is kind. Kindness is being good unconditionally. Not helping people because of what you want in return. God is looking for unconditional givers. Kind. Kindness. You are kind. You may not have money to give, but you have a smile to give. You may not have money to give, but you have courtesy to give. You have the right words to give. The Bible says, soft answer turneth away rot. There are slap, slap attracting statements. Punch commanding utterances. There are some women, when they open their mouth, they are one, you, when, they, when they tell you what they said, you'll be wondering why their teeth is still complete in their mouth. You, when they tell you, I've seen people judge matters. And when they, you said this to him, he said, yes, sir. You, you said it. Say, yes, sir. I was angry. And I'm wondering why, why, why she's still standing okay. Violence is not tolerated. Violence is intolerable. But there are some things that should not come out of your mouth. Charity is kind. Kindness of heart. Charity is kind. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Bring that scripture up. Charity suffered long. Charity is kind. Charity vaunted not itself. Charity does not boast. You can't stay around somebody and say, I brought myself down because of you. If not be, if not be church. Have you heard some people say, if not one thing, I know where I would have been. Christians don't talk like that. Born again Christians, we don't say if not, no. Because we know that our following God, we are not doing God a service. You are not serving God so that God will be blessed. How many of you, how many of you, how many of you have ever prayed for God? You have prayed for God. Will not I mean, over 7.3 billion people is watching over them. Ah, uh ah, -uh, you don't sleep, you don't. Hallelujah. Man. See, do you are. You are... <laughs> Charity does not boast. It doesn't boast. I ask a question. How many of you have ever prayed for God? The Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, as I pray now, I pray for Jesus. Ah, Jesus died and rose. Jesus, how are you? How have you been? If you stay away from alcohol, you are preserving your kidney. You are not helping God. Am I talking to somebody here? You stay away from armed robbery. You are avoiding cell. You are running from jail. You stay away as a man from immorality. You are saving money. Because if you want, if you want romance, you must have finance. You, are, you stay away from lying. You will not be afraid for them not to catch you. Anything you do is not 
about God. You are a young lady, you decide to keep yourself and wait for your husband. You are saving yourself from venereal disease, pregnancy, heartbreak, being beaten by women who you are chasing their husband, being beaten by young ladies who are desperate, you are with their brothers. Your serving God is for you. Am I talking to somebody here? Everyone who serves God should serve God. Not boasting. You should be excited and see your life as a privilege. Number four, charity. Number four, charity. Number four, charity. Charity is not puffed up. It's not proud. Lovers of God are not proud people. They are humble people. And their, their humility is observed by others, unassumingly. Do you know there's a way somebody can, can feel humble and become so proud with their humility? <laughs> there's a way somebody can feel humble and become so proud with their humility. I thank God for my life. I'm very humble. That's why I thank God for myself. I don't carry myself up. I'm very humble. You feel so humble that you are now proud with your humility. Number two. Number two. The first night I said, if you love Jesus, you will love. Number two, tell Jesus anything. If you want miracles to begin in your life, number one, if you love Jesus, you must love his disciples. Number two, tell Jesus anything. The mother of Jesus, when they said they have no wine. Sir, no matter how minute it is, tell Jesus. No matter what it is you are going through, tell Jesus. No matter what the doctor said, tell Jesus. Tell Jesus everything. Tell Jesus everything. Tell Jesus everything. Tell Jesus everything. Tell him anything and everything. God cannot be around and not be involved. God cannot be around and not be involved. If Jesus is around, it is in your life. He's, in, he's involved in every decision. Is a marital decision. Somebody wants to get married to you. Sir, ma, don't just jump into marriage. Tell Jesus. Jesus, what are you saying? You are the silent guest and your sin listener to every conversation. What are you saying about this marriage? Is this your will for me? Are you, are you involved in this decision I want to make to marry? Tell Jesus anything. You know. When you are going through a challenge in your life, going through a limitation, tell Jesus anything, 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 anything. Tell Jesus anything. Tell Jesus anything. Do you know what Mary did? Mary stood up in the days of crisis, in the days of pain and despondency. Mary stood up. In that marriage, Mary was the intercessor. Ayabakata. Sir, I don't care how prayerful you are. You still need somebody to be interceding for you. No matter how prayerful you are, you still need intercessors. Why do people after praying, we still say to their prophet, Papa, Pastor, I'm troubled, to speak a word. It's because they know there are scriptural laws, Matthew 18, 19, if two shall agree. I know you can pray. I know you are a prayer machine, but if two shall agree. I know you fasted 14 days, 40 days dry, but if two shall agree. I know you don't sleep at night. You're always awake. If two shall agree. If two shall agree. If two shall agree. The people, the people in scriptures. <laughs> when Joshua was fighting, they were trained men. All the armies Joshua inherited from Moses were men who were trained and skilled in the art of war. But they still needed Joshua to stand with them and constantly agree with them. They got to a point in their life where their weapons failed. Their armor is failed. Whatever they were holding failed. All their powers failed. All their skills and experience and expertise failed. At that point, Joshua had to connect to the spirit because the sun was going down. Everywhere was becoming dark. Joshua could not see the enemies. They could not see the enemies to strike them. So Joshua looked up to God and cried to God. He said, sun, stand still. It doesn't take military expertise to connect that. He said, moon, stand in the valley of Agil. 
done. That is why all those who number the days and the time can tell you that from creation till now, one day is missing. And that is what confused Jehovah's Witness that they say Sunday is Saturday, Saturday is Sunday. Am I talking to somebody here? Because a man called Joshua stood his ground and said, son, stand still. Because a man connected to divinity, you must get to understand the place of connectivity. No wonder in Romans 15 verse 30, Paul, an apostle of God, he said, pray for us. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 25, pray for us. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 1, pray for us. You must understand the place of connectivity. In Hebrews chapter 13 verse 18, pray for us. Colossians chapter 4 verse 3, pray for us. I like what he says in James 5 16. He said, confess your fault to one another. Pray for one another. There is power in intercession. You need somebody to constantly stay on the altar and call upon God for your children. You need somebody to constantly stay on the altar. Am I communicating now? Your prayer is not enough. When people send me prayer, some of you have sent me prayer, I reply, Amen. Many times. You send me prayer, I say amen. I'm not, I'm saying it from my heart. Because my prayer is not enough. They send me prayers. I say amen, I receive it. So I'm embarrassed. Papa, ah, it's me. Oh. I say that prayer is important. I need a prayer. Paul, a man who moved in dimensions with God. A man who went to the third heavens. He had an out of body experience. Yet he said pray for us. Mary was the intercessor. Tell Jesus everything. The Bible says, and they wanted wine. They wanted wine. Tell Jesus. What, what does wine signify? Ecclesiastes 9 verse 7. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 19. Ecclesiastes 1, sorry, Psalm 104 verse 15. Wine there speaks of joy. Joy. They had no wine. They had no joy. When it appears you are losing your joy, tell Jesus. When it appears you are becoming so depressed, tell Jesus. Tell Jesus what is making you depressed. They had no joy. 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 Ah, yabakata. It is joy that brings enjoyment. They had no joy. Tell Jesus what is wine. Before I continue, you know, Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3. He said, with joy shall you draw water from the wells of salvation. Tell Jesus. Isaiah chapter 65, verse 8. He says, as new wine is found in the cluster. And one said, destroy it not, for there's a blessing in it. So wine speaks of blessing. Number one, wine speaks of joy. Number two, wine speaks of blessing. What is blessing? Blessing is an empowerment to succeed. An empowerment to succeed. An empowerment that overrides expertise, experience, qualification. Blessing is empowerment. In Proverbs 10 verse 22, he said the blessing of the Lord make it rich. It's not hard work that make rich. It's not skill that I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I believe in experience. I believe in expertise. I believe in skill. But it is not those that make rich. Those help you to eat. The Bible says if a man does not walk, he should not eat. So walk is for eating. It is blessing that brings riches, the blessing all of a sudden they had no wine they had no blessing in their life, there are people who have gone to school, they have seen the four walls of institution yet nothing is working in their life because there is no wine they lack the blessing, am I communicating here? The Bible tells us, <laughs> the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 18, he said, be not drunk with wine when it is excess, but be filled with the spirit. So wine speaks of influence. Wine speaks of the influence of the spirit. Wine speaks of the influence of the spirit. When a man comes under the influence of the Holy Ghost, when you are under the influence of the spirit, you are not in this world. You are not in this realm. Oh my God. You have left this realm. A man that is drunk with the spirit is not a normal man. Have you seen drunkards before? Have you seen drunkards? Oh my God, look at me. Have you seen drunkards? I didn't say drinkers. Two drunkards were inside the, were inside the bar. Both of them staggered and called a the taxi. They stopped the taxi and said, take, take us home. The taxi man said, enter. As they were entering the door together, they fell down. They stood up again, they fell down. One managed to enter, the other entered. So the man wanted to take advantage of them. 
The driver looked at them. They were heavily drunk. So he turned on the ignition. He was still on the spot. He turned it off. He said, we don't reach. So one of them put it in his pocket and gave him money and came down. was going back to the bar where he was coming from. So the other one looked at him, the driver, looked at the man that came down and gave the driver a heavy slap. So the driver thought that the guy caught him. The next the, the, the guy said was that. The drunk guy looked at him and slapped him and said to him, where would they go out just now? Why are you they speed? <laughs> where were we are going home? Why were you speeding? He didn't move. He was on the same spot. And he gave him money. So he came down. They were going back to the bar. Another guy was drunk. He went to his own house. He lives alone. His key was in his pocket. He started knocking on the door. Oh, the house. His key was in his pocket. So his neighbor came to him and said, you know they are. He said, okay. He turned back. <laughs> his neighbor told him, you are, you know, in other words, you are not at home. He said, okay. He turned back. And he was going. He, these are men that are not in this realm. Have you, am I, that is what it takes to be drunk in the spirit. When the Bible was speaking about Hannah, he said she prayed, her lips moved, and Eli said she was drunk. It, it means that Hannah was praying and staggering. She was overwhelmed with the wine of the Spirit. Be drunk in the Holy Ghost. When you say somebody is drunk, it's not a function of how much alcohol he has taken. It's a function of how much of him alcohol has taken. He has not taken alcohol. Alcohol... As that's what they call under the influence meaning he is subjected to liquor am I talking to somebody here do you know that alcohol drunkenness is a spirit oh my god all forms of liquor are classified under the word spirits am I talking to somebody here all forms of liquid even fear is called premium mortal spirits that is why for somebody to be free from drunkenness you need to cast out their spirits Come under the influence of alcohol. I know a guy that was drunk. A guy that was drunk. When I say drunk, heavily drunk. He left house to go and write an exam and he slept there. The mother left food for him. That was on a Friday. He came back Saturday evening. There was mukha on the food. He opened the food, drunk. Ate the food, licked the plate. And he thanked the mother that, Mama says, you burn me. No food, don't sweet reach this one. Sour food. What was happening? Drunk. When you are drunk in the spirit, what others run from, you are not afraid of it. It was drunkenness that came upon David. When David looked at Goliath, he said, I will cut off your head. How can a man without a sword, only a stone and a sling cut off somebody? He was drunk with the Holy Ghost. This generation is stranded because they have no wine. This generation is going through cataclysm because they have no wine. This generation is going through pain. He said, my son, they have no one. We are in a generation that's going through mockery, going through shame, going through despondency because there is no wine. When you have the wine of life, demons see you and they take off. When you have the wine of life, demons see you and they're in trouble. They have no wine. That is why we are going through the shame and mockery. Tell Jesus everything. Look at this. Look at this. Can I go on? Let me shock you now. When Mary came to Jesus, Mary said to Jesus, they have no wine. Do you know what Jesus said to him? He said, my hour, in fact, he said, what have I, woman, not mother. Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not here come. Sir, if you won't check other translations, you'll be more offended. This was bad. But other translations will even get you more angry the way Jesus responded to the mother. He said, dear woman, what is that to you and to me? What's my business with you? His mother. You see, see what he tell her here. see him. Now see him. This was his mom he was talking to. You must not tell me what to do. Look at this one. Jesus said, Is that any of our business, mother? Yours or mine? What's our business? 
my dear one, don't you understand that if I do this, it will change nothing for you, but it will change everything for me? His mother! Sir, if you want to live a life of miracles, refuse to be offended. There was nowhere when Mary said, eh, a matter. Meme. No! Refuse to be. I am. Everybody who has faith, everybody who fails in life, eh? You see all these men, some of these men who are 75, they are security men. No mocking, I'm not mocking them. Some people who are in the late 70s, they are now behaving like houseboys. Ask them when they were younger, they met certain big men. But offense and entitlement took them away. Every rebellion is on the platform of offense and entitlement. Entitlement. A young guy, I, I, I mean, I see him in church, he comes to pray and all that. So one day I asked him, I said, come and see me. He came to see me. I said, you come around and do you walk? He said he left his walk about a year plus. I said, why? He said he left. He didn't like the way he was treated. I said, tell me the story. And he told me, God connected him to a man who was I mean, a senator and he was very close to the senator, knows the family, he helped the man, did a lot of things. The man was blessing him. So one time, he just felt that the man wasn't giving him what he should get. That's what he felt. So he got angry. And the man told him, I don't want to see you again. He left. After a couple of months, he came back to apologize. After apologizing to the man, the man said, I'll put you on probation. Let me observe you. After five months, he left finally. And that's why I started praying in the church. I said, you know, get sense. I said, okay, as you now left there now, what are you doing? When you were going around the office, when you were on probation, what was he doing? He said, he was paying my rent. He was supporting my children. He was sending money to my mother. You were on probation. Now you are not. God will take care of me. I said, no, God is not stupid. God Almighty is the wisest of all. God gave you brain so that you can rest. Offense. Offense. Once entitlement sets in, a destiny is shattered. There is nothing you are doing around the helper that somebody cannot do better. Nothing, nothing. A man is in your office, your boss in the office. Now you are suffering because of this nonsense of entitlement. And one thing about entitled people is that you can't counsel them all. Let, let suffering, it is suffering that counsels them. One pastor was rebelling in our church. One of our pastors in London was telling me when I, we sat down in the car. And one of our pastors was rebelling. He said, I called this guy for one hour. I was on the phone with him. I said, think, he said, think of where Papa picked you from. Think of what this man has done for you. While he was talking to the guy who is now suffering and suffering massively. You know, there's a way you suffer and the spelling changed to S-O-F-A, sofa. He said, the guy, on the one hour, when he was done, the guy said, are you done? Are you done? Hung up the phone. That's offense, spirit of offense and entitlement. You can't counsel them. You can't. You can't counsel them. You can't. You have offended in the church. You want church to come and apologize to you. Somebody say, Pastor must come and beg me before I return to church. Stay at home. Your church, church, say they offended me. They have not come to, to apologize. Full ministry, full branch should line up, choir, protocol, squad, usher, drama department, sanctuary clinic, prayer band. Then youth will not be behind them. Then teenagers will be behind. Then children. Then pastor's children. Pastors will have them pastor. They are marching to the house of Sister Ngbeke <laughs> to go and apologize for what they did. Because you are the alpha. Serve your God. Serve your God. Don't let anybody tell you how to serve him. Can I say this to you? A man or woman who didn't die for you should not tell you how to serve a God that died for you. A man or woman who cannot die for you should not tell you how to serve a Jesus that died for you. Offense. I know many people, when, when the devil wants to shatter a destiny, 
Offense. Once offense enter, entitlement, I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to, I should have, I should have, I should have, you lose what you already have. Refuse to be offended. In Psalm 119 verse 145, he says, and they shall not be offended. They shall not be offended. In Matthew 11 verse 8, blessed is he that is not offended. Psalm 119 verse 165, sorry. Blessed is he who is not offended in me. Psalm 119 verse 165. Bring it up. Psalm 119 verse 165. Don't be offended. Be grateful. Great peace have they which love thy law and nothing shall offend them. The prodigal son, nobody could counsel him until he became roommate with pigs. Prodigal son told the father, give me all. I'm your son. I deserve this. And the Bible says when he left, the Bible says he desired the crumbs. You didn't get that. Not that he was eating with pigs. He was desiring. His prayer point was that as the... This is what, how the prodigal son was praying. Oh, father, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, touch the heart of this pig to remain small for me. In Jesus' name. That was his prayer point. That the pig should give him leftover. But the Bible says, but he came to himself. Many of you women looking at me right now. Many of you men looking at me who have lost your home. It's because of offense. Many people, somebody will leave a department and say, sorry sir, I'm no more youth president. Why? Because you feel that you are offended. Something God gave you or by yourself, you walked out of it. Sorry sir, I, I don't think I can lead anymore because I'm angry. I'm not coming to the choir anymore. Because somebody offended me. So you abandon what your father has called you to do. Offense. 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 A young man was, a young man, <laughs> after the COVID, COVID experience, he was paying his tithe. All the money he gathered during COVID, online, business and trading, forex, crypto and all, he was paying tight, paying tight, paying tight. Pastor bought a new Jeep. Ah, you guys say what? He was painted. Pastor's wife bought a Jeep. Ah, ah. The next thing, Pastor moved from a three-bedroom apartment to a full duplex. The guy stopped painting and became angry. The pastor is preaching that side will frown his face. People are giving that they will tell them, stop, don't keep your money. Can't you see our, our, our money? Can't you see? Can you? They finally bought a land. They got a land. They needed to pay for the land. The pastor told them how much the land cost. He said, but they shouldn't bother. Because there are certain people that have been paying their tithe and immediately after COVID. He mentioned the brother's name, number one, and mentioned the figure of what he has paid from that period to then. He mentioned about five, six people. The brother was in the crowd. He began to cry. He was crying. He was crying. The three people that were sitting with him that he stopped from paying tight, that's how they frowned. They were looking at him. When he saw a car, he saw pastor's wife's car. He saw house. His mind felt it was his money. And the pastor explained to them about somebody he prayed for who God used to change his status. Many people are offended on the platform of assumption. Assumption! When my, mama, when my mother died, nobody in the church came to look for me. The other day, my uncle died, nobody in the church came to look for me. Then my cousin also now died, nobody came to look for me. After that, my nephew, brother, sister died, nobody came. Why are they dying? Why are they dying? Why is everybody around you dying? Offense and entitlement. Beware of entitlement. Beware of entitlement. There are people that have put in more than what you have put into that thing and they don't get half of what you have. Everything, every position, every opportunity in life is a privilege. It's a privilege. When you see life as a privilege, you will not offend helpers. You will enjoy them. 
Some of you looking at me right now need to go back after the end of the service. That's your boss in the office. You are becoming arrogant. To, you have to apologize. That's your guy in the office. You are becoming so arrogant. To, you have to just send an apology. And don't apologize because you want to be, you want to get back to that office. You are, no, apologize because you are really sorry. Every apology that is on the platform of getting back a position or getting back benefit is not an apology. When people apologize because they want to get back benefit, that's not apologies. I am really sorry. I don't care if you take me back. That's what the prodigal son said. He wasn't apologizing because he wanted to become, he said, take me as a servant. If you want to know people who are really repentant, observe them with, with time. They are not patient. The unrepentant people are not patient. They are not patient. As they break laws, they break principles, they, want, they, they are not patient because they are not really sorry. I'm telling you the truth. He that is off to reprove but had ethics there shall die without remedy. I've been preaching for 35 years. Everyone that crashed, crashed because nobody could talk to them. Offended. A young boy, the mother, he went, he came back home. The food was not ready. He was angry. The mother said, it's now I want to cook. Ah! So he slept. He woke up. The mother was still cooking. Slept, woke up. The when the mother prepared the food and gave him, it was very small. He said, mom, you think, you mean I'll be waiting? This is why I'll be waiting. He got angry, carried the food and went to the dustbin and poured the food. As he was going back, he was licking the plate was licking the plate. He poured the food away and was licking the plate. You see what offense can do? It makes you lose all that you have, even where you need it. Offense. Refuse to be offended. Jesus said, blessed is he. The mother! How do you tell your mother, what is my business with you? And the mother was not offended. I don't like when they spoke to me. Even if you want to advise me as my pastor, is that, the, is that the way to say it? Even if you want to advise me as my head of the past, my husband, even if you want to talk to me, mind the words. There are women, there's no way to talk to you, there's no way. Every way they talk to you is a problem. If they bring voice down, please try and prepare. Why your voice so low? Why your voice so low? When the man shouts, please try, you are shouting at me, you are shouting. There's no way, no tone. Woman said, Daddy, I can't talk to my husband. I said, Look for when he's in the right mood. He said, He's never in the right mood. He's never in the right mood. Everything offends you. Everything. You left your house offended. You entered the bike offended. The man was on speed, almost took you beyond the church. You shouted, You dead, breath? The man stopped. You came down again. You are walking to the church. Usher offended you. They gave somebody your seat. Where you are sitting again, the condition is not blowing you too much. You are offended. Everything offends you. As I'm even preaching now, it's like I'm talking to you. Who went to tell Papa all my secret? You are offended. I was preaching one day. I saw a woman left her seat. I was on the altar, left her seat, went there. A man left too and went to sit near her, not behind her. After a while, I saw her left. I was observing. When I finished, I said they should call that woman. So they called the woman to my office. The woman said, Hey, Rama, my mother, <laughs> help me, my father. I said, What happened? He said, While I was preaching, the husband was doing me like, like this. He said, What? He said, you, went to tell, you went to tell Papa every day. Okay. Anything I say, he would. He had a bear. And was doing that all the time. So the woman stood up, <laughs> left the seat. <laughs> Son of man followed me. <laughs> so I called the man. I said, Your wife didn't tell me. I said, Papa, no, no, no. Every point was what was happening in their house. That was the Holy Ghost talking to you. Refuse. Life is so, life is easy. All this, uh, mm, live. Release yourself and be happy. That thing that wants to destroy you is what is giving you ideas that you can succeed when you are cut off from the taproot. There are yeah. Do you know after Aaron died, most 
did not live long. There are people that when they live your life, your source is gone. I'm telling you the truth. In the Bible, he had no assignment until he him in the cooler. As soon as Saul was saved, Acts 13 verse 4, said, 13 verse 2, separate me Paul and Barnabas. So Barnabas was waiting for the salvation of Paul. They kept him waiting. There are people tied to you. Don't joke with them. There are offices, businesses. God has given you a helper that carried you from being a first, from being a graduate. He gave your life beauty. That's somebody you should cover and guide. But your arrogance makes you feel that since you're already standing. Why do you think people go more for civil service than private organization? Because of job security. Because of job security. Somebody prefers to stay in civil service when he's getting 100,000 or 80,000 than a private organization is getting 200,000. Because that company can close tomorrow. Don't allow something new that's enticing you and taking you away from a place and a connection that has given you life. You are a young man. That woman has stood with you and stood the test of time. But there's someone else now that's entering your eyes. And the one at home has become rubbish. All your ear is standing up. All your head is standing up. Once you see her, all your body is shiki shiki, is shiki shiki, is shiki. Now she's telling, she's so nice. You are a young woman, a husband that changed your surname. You have suddenly totally abandoned. It's now somebody somewhere. You believe has more advantage, more funds. more supply than him. You are a young lady. I keep asking, how will a young lady see a man? He has five cars. He has several houses. He's a millionaire. He has connections. Is good looking. Is educated, and is single, and you are happy that God has given you. So you think you are the only one that has seen that thing? Others saw it and ran. There is besides the houses. Sign. What the Lord has done is so much. Is so marvelous. What the enjoy me praise the Lord. Asha oh. Hallelujah, pray the Lord. So far, you are, as far, you are happy that God has not brought help us. You are jumping. You are excited. People saw an abuser. They left. Despite the cars, they left. People saw a usurper. They left. You saw it and you're only smiling. People, they had me say. <laughs> now, where did they make me smile? I had it. I say, so. oh. Like Jesus, they made me smile. People, they ask me, who ask you? Who ask you? Who ask you? I didn't mind. 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 There are things people have seen. If it's too good to be true, it's not true. If it's too good to be true, it's not true. One of my wonderful children here, growing up, I, I called her. She's married now. I said, come. I just want to pray for you. What kind of person do you want to marry? I want to decree now. He said, oh my God. <laughs> He said, oh my God. I said, here? Yeah. <laughs> why come, why come, come and me? <laughs> I said, what do you want? He said, I want a very tall, handsome, educated, rich. He will not give me problem. We are about seven in our family. He will take care of everybody. We are about this. He mentioned, 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 mentioned. And when she was done, I said, the problem is that he's married. 
the person you are looking for is married. They don't exist as single men. Because like this, it doesn't exist. Somebody man maintained, nurtured, brought out that good character, was patient, and the care of the seven members of the family. It doesn't exist. Stop feeling entitled. See life as a privilege and be happy. You lose when you are entitled. When you feel entitled, see life as a privilege. Number three, am I blessing you at all? I know somebody who is, who is coming here for the first time. He's saying, which kind of man? But he, he came out. Entitlement brings offenses. When you are overwhelmed with your emotion, you lose your space. Number three, and I'm going to pray. Miracle is the platform for relevance. It was that miracle that brought the announcement of a governor. We didn't know there was a governor in that wedding. We didn't know a governor attended the wedding that Jesus attended. It was a miracle that brought it out. Hear me. <laughs> and hear me where? Mary may not give you wine, but Mary can recommend you. You need a recommendation. Divine intervention premises sudden relevance. There are people hearing the sound of my voice. There are men, great men around you you are not aware. But it takes a divine act of God to suddenly connect you to men that matter. Miracle brings relevance. There are people under the sound of my voice in this month of April. You will stand before kings and not mean men. There are people under the sound of my voice. You will stand before kings and not mean men. The God of heaven is about to bring you before great men, great women, great institutions, people that matter. You are about to stand before great people. You are about to stand before men of influence. Helpers are coming to you. Take your seat. Kashata. Miracles give you relevance. There are four things we saw there that spot relevant. The Bible says Jesus said to the servants, draw. He said to them, feel, draw. Feel, draw. If you must enjoy relevance, number one, be ready to serve. Be ready to serve. We are in a generation where people want to be served. No, sir. Be ready to serve. Do you know there are some departments in church that is everybody's department? Are you aware? There are some departments in a church that is everybody's department. Sanctuary department is everybody's department. Wherever you see something dirty, don't wait. You will pick it and clean it. Sanctuary department is everybody's don't wait until that department is everybody. We have people who's involved in it. Serve. John chapter 12 verse 26. Jesus said, if any man serve me, him will my father honor. He said, there I am. It will be also. Serve. Job 36, 11. If they shall obey and serve me, if they pleasure. Serve. If you are not in a department in the church, you are not in the church. If you are not in a department, you are a number, not a member. If you are not in a department, you are a number, not a member. What makes you a member? How many of you know that in school, there are people that sit in class, but they are not students? Right? Do the exams and do the graduation, do they give them anything? Do they appreciate them and say you have been in class for four years? No. So being in a church for years does not entitle you to the privileges of the church. I've had to say I've been going to Omega for five years. I said, what's your department? I'm not in any. I said, sorry, you are not a member. Because you must contribute your own quota. Say, number two, obey instructions. Jesus said to them, Draw out, feel. There's a specific instruction God wants to give you to connect you to men of relevance. Men of relevance. Without instruction, life is filled with contention. Instruction. The key to your next level is your next obedience. 
Tell your neighbor, the key to your next level. Tell your neighbor, the key to your next level is your next obedience. There's something I discovered about service before I continue with instruction. The Bible says when they brought out the wine, the governor, the ruler of the feast, did not know where it came from. But the servants knew. The servants knew. So service gives you access to secrets of God. Everyone who is an addicted, a committed servant is, 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 is giving access to seals. One, make up your mind to serve. There are things that will be revealed to you on their own. There are people that were not born millionaires, but they became millionaires by service. There are people that were not born prophets, but they became prophets by service. There are people that were not born and trapped. One of our sons in an African. Not true. What do you want me to give you? He said, I need two days for you to respond. And my son calls me up on the phone and said, Dad, what do I say? What amount of money or contract do I ask him? I say, Are you sure you have my son? Don't ask him for anything. Tell him that both of you. That you want to be around him. You just want to be around him. Both of you should be doing together. Don't collect anything. I said, because as you are running together, you are getting many things that you are making men. He said, the man said, oh, that's hard, but follow me. Anywhere I'm going, you will be. He said, put it on paper. Write it, you sign a sign. Let's be together. That these four years, we are going to be together. They inaugurated him, he was there with him. In the place that's a villa, they have a place, they gave him his own place, about two rooms from the president. So now, the president, go and talk to him. Am I talking to somebody here? But somebody else would have just come, collect some things, collect and leave. But you've got to understand, seven opens you to secrets. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating? Number three, direction. Direction. Jesus said, take it to the governor. Open your two hands, everybody. And hear this declaration right now. Open your two hands. I make this declaration. God directed them to take the wine to the governor. God will direct you to the destiny helper that will announce your next level. We direct you to the destiny helper that we announce your next level. God, we die. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him. He shall direct. The man, it was a, it was a governor. Can I say this to all of you as you are standing or you are kneeling, whichever? Do you know it's not about what you do, it's who you meet. The same girl that makes her for a pauper and they pay her 2,000. We meet 1,000. It's not what you do. This same song you will sing somewhere and they give you coke and say, God bless you. You will sing this same song somewhere else and they give you a car. It's not what you do, it's who you meet. I, I wish I was talking to somebody here. There are people you meet and you do the same thing you are doing for others. Killing was a normal thing to him. Anything against God's people, he will kill. Nobody gave him a dime. All of a sudden, they said, something shall be given to who killed Goliath. Hey! I've 
be killing for free. Do they give for killing? They say something shall be given. Ah, I will, I will use stone. I will use a sling. God of heaven. Everyone hearing the sound of my voice. Connect them to a major voice that we announce them. Oh my God. Sir, there are people you meet, eh? Your life accelerates. Or your life goes down. A popular footballer, I want to pray. He was granting an interview and there was a bottled water in front of him. You remember the story? And he just removed it from the side. That week, that company lost $40 million. He just removed the bottled water. He just, it was in front of him because he's a brand ambassador. So he just removed that. In other words, he's not trying to, and as, the fact that he removed that alone, all his fans boycotted that water. $40 million they lost that week. There are people that will just hold a product. The fact that they used it that month, that company es es escalates in profit. So it depends on who you meet. A, a governor was the one that announced it. Everybody had to be quiet. I decree upon you. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice. Whether you are watching around the world in our different satellite churches or you are watching online, I make a declaration. A helper, we announce you this month. This month of April, you will meet a helper that we announce you. You will meet a helper that we announce you. You meet a helper that we advertise you. You meet a helper that we advertise you. You meet a helper that we announce you. Helper that we advertise you. Helper that we announce you. Helper that we advertise you. Help us that we announce you. Help us that we advertise you. Help us that we announce you. Help us that we advertise you. Help us that we announce you. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Grace is on your side. Somebody shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, if you have ever prayed on the first Sunday of the month, it will be today. Father, connect me to a helper that will announce me. It's just to meet one right person. One right person you meet, that is the end. The difference between the wilderness and the promised land. Is the right man connect me to a helper that will announce me oh lord arise this month connect me to a helper that will announce me oh lord arise oh lord arise oh lord arise this month connect me to a helper that we are my father my father, my my father, father, my father. father. shout it louder than that my, my father, father my father. father in the name of jesus in the name of jesus as i begin to pray as i begin to pray this month this month connect me connect me to a helper to a helper that will announce me that will announce me open your mouth oh he goes shut up Da 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 da
Walking on this earth, we are not in, in ourselves, but God has chosen to use us by His mighty hands. For the Master's plan requires human instruction. Glorify us or the glory must be to the Lord For he is worthy of our praise No man on earth should give glory to himself All the glory must be Let's sing all the glory, all the glory must be to the Lord. It's worthy of a praise, oh Lord. He is worthy of a praise. No man on earth, no man on earth should be glory to himself. in your life I pray for you Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1 at the fourth month Ezekiel saw visions of God because heavens were open this fourth month your heavens are opened 
your heavens are open. Your heavens are open. In the name of Jesus. I bless you with the blessings of God. And I decree that God will guide and guard you. The Lord told me four things that will happen for you this month. He said, your life will radiate the oil of gladness. I repeat that. He said, for the month of April, your life will radiate the oil of gladness. He said, this month is your month of productive connections. This month is your month of productive connections. He said, this month, relevance that silences argument shall manifest in your life. Relevance that silences argument shall manifest in your life. And number four, he said, this month, you will enjoy the might of God. You will enjoy the might of God. You will enjoy the might, the might of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be in Jesus powerful name open your oil lift it up open your oil lift it up something's gonna happen if you don't have oil in a bottle just let somebody turn on your palm lift up the oil don't anoint yourself yet obey instruction if you don't have any bottle, put on your palm. If you have any bottle, lift it up. I bless this oil for signs and the strange acts and move of God. Let it produce what can produce. Let the Holy Ghost walk through it for mind-blowing miracles. In Jesus' name. Now, if you have on the bottle, turn on your palm. Cover the bottle, keep it safe. Turn on your palm, palm, palm. Those of you already have on your palm, lift up your hand again. So everybody now lift up your hand. Whether you are watching around the world, get oil on your palm and lift up that palm. Keep the bottle safe. Let the bottle be safe. Lift up that palm. In this place of around the world, I want the ushers to be alert because the favor you have not experienced in your life will fall on you now. Watch out. Keep the bottle, keep the bottle, drop the bottle. Keep the bottle. Lift up the hand with the oil. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall. These hands that are lifted, Father, I'm asking, in the next few seconds, let the rush, the unction of strange favor that brings men and women before relevant men fall upon you right now. Fall upon you right now. At the count of three, you put that hand on your head and see what the Holy Ghost will do. Fall upon you right now. One, two, three. Take, take power. Shaparata pata, rapaka pata pata ratash. Yada da 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 da
Barada Kaparadas, wherever you are, take, take favor, take favor. All our satellite churches around the world, I release favor, I release favor. Power, power. Razo Goto Barandea, Ede Barakulata, Le Paruse Keteritos, Abaragadon de Le Mansen Baraka, Iragada Ragada Bragada Ragada Yarada Dada Rada 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 Right where you are, everyone under the sound of my voice who is sick in body, diagnosed of any kind of disease, you are healed in the name of Jesus. You came here with issues of fruitfulness. Believe in God for it. You are fruitful in the name of Jesus. I speak the might and the hand of God upon you. By this anointing, be healed in the name of Jesus. And this week be blessed. Prosper. Succeed. Flourish. Increase. Take charge. Take dominion. Replenish the earth. Be blessed. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. All our churches around the world, you can connect to your different programs. Those of our churches around the world, you can log off and at, complete your services. All our satellite churches, the Lord bless you. Those who are watching online that want to stay online, till now can continue. I live for Jesus day after day. Sit down, don't step out. I live for Jesus. Don't come what may. And the Holy Spirit, I will obey. I live for Jesus. Day after day, the Holy Spirit, I will obey. I live for Jesus. Jesus. Day after day. All of you go back and sit down now. Go back and sit down. This man come. At Omega Farm Ministries, Tallahassee, oh. the home of glory. Enjoy the presence of God, get refreshed by the word, enjoy the fellowship of the brethren. Lead Pastor, Pastor Peter and Pastor Tina Opone, Senior Pastors, Apostle Johnson and Dr. Lizzie Suleiman. First Sunday service, 3 a.m. EST, live on Celebration TV. Other Sunday services, 10 a.m. EST, Bible study, Every Tuesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Solution and Deliverance Service. Every Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Fire and Miracle Night. Every last Fridays from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. Live on Celebration TV. For prayers, please dial into 954-715-6464. Mondays and Thursdays at 10 p.m. EST. 470-588-3099 from Mondays to Saturdays from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. EST. Omega Farm Ministries, Tallahassee is located at 3721 Crawford V. Road, Tallahassee, Florida 32305. Omega Farm Ministries, Tallahassee, a home awaits you. Um.
can be a ground of uncommon miracles. Amen. Not just in Tallahassee, the whole of Florida. Amen. The testimonies that will come forth from this place shall be mind boggling. We decree that everyone that shall come to this altar to cry to you, heaven will be open unto them. Amen. Bless everyone who worships here. Amen. I bless those that will be connected from now. Amen. I bless those who are present right in this meeting. Amen. And I decree each person as they leave, Lord, between now and December, give them each three, three miracles. Amen. Three, three miracles. Amen. Three, three miracles. Amen. And I call it down. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Somebody say, my time has come. My, my time, time has come. come. God bless you. Amen.